Hey, oh, Noctis here. Just started up the run, and yeah. Mercy Mental Hospital. The, bl the blood you found at the warehouse belongs to a man masquerading as one Dr. Holmes, and you've tracked it to Mercy Mental Hospital. Located in the notoriously anti metahuman farmlands of, so of Snohomish. The drive to the hospital is long and unpleasant. Finally, you reach the wall and get a hospital compound. Despite the pretense of security, the gate is unguarded, unlocked, and open. No one stops or greets you as you drive up to the large, crumbling building. Gothic ramparts top a damaged roof, cracked walls, and broken windows. All around the building is a lawn gone wild. Only the artificial light from within speaks of inhabitants. You walk up to the hospital steps, confront Sam, Watts Keller, and bring it in to the Emerald City Ripper. I grabbed a bunch of dudes from, um... Yeah, I grabbed some dudes from the Nephilim Network because I figured I was going to need them. Wasn't all sure what I was going to need, so I just grabbed a bunch of dudes. Bunch of dudes. Alright, we're good. Game auto saved. Alright. You didn't? Did you? Okay, you didn't. Uh, yeah, fuck it, whatever. Nice combat. Mm, strength. Should probably grab that. Fuck it. Investigate Mercy. Welcome, sir. What business brings you to Mercy Hospital? I'm here to see Holmes. Dr. Holmes. Ah, a new customer. Please wait in the common room. My pet. I'll notify the good doctor. Mm. Please stay within the cafeteria. Lorraine. Hey guys, have you seen Josie? I don't think so. I know, right? I haven't seen him in days. Dr. Philippe told me not to worry about it. He says I worry too much. But who am I supposed to play Jeff with? Donnie over there can't sell us more than a match for. Josie sounds like quite a guy. What's he look like? Oh, he's big. He's got a big gold ring. Doctors let him keep it when he got here. Sometimes he lords it over us, but I'm sure if I had a ring like that, I would do the same. He says he won it back playing for the Screamers of the Super Brawl years back. I can see Nash Brawler becoming a celebrity around here, sure. He's got great stories. They don't let us watch sports in here, violence and triggers and stuff. Listening to Josie talk about his game is almost as good as the real thing. Will you at least help me look for him? I have this key I swept off the day guard, but they keep a close eye on us. We could have a peek in the infirmary and see if there's a record or something. He might just be in a cool-off room and they won't tell me. No sweat. I can do this for you. Really? Really? Great! I wish everyone was nice to you. I like my mom. Alright. Automated medication dispenser doesn't recognize you. Something happens. Let's talk to Donnie. Hello, stranger. You look new here. You new here? I like for Dr. Holmes. Uh, I don't think you really want that. Not really. What's that supposed to mean? Around here, you don't want to attract that attention to the doctor. If you stay quiet, life is much easier. Much easier. I'm Grendel. Who are you? N name's Donnie. That's my name. Donnie. D-O-N-N-Y. Never didn't recognize you. I know everybody in this place. Everybody. Well, everybody on the first two floors. And what I should look out for, Donnie? No, not on this floor. Only those common ones are allowed up in the cafeteria. If you're violent, you have to be eating your room. Doing a health and safety check. Well, he don't want to talk to me. I don't work here. I'm not crazy enough for that. <laughs> Alright then. Sure, when you're on break. This is going to end well. The stench of blood and mold gets ever stronger as you move closer to the infirmary. Fuck. I know I should have gotten a data jack. Uh, patient information for Josiah C. Dawson is open on the cyber terminal. Medical history. Josiah C. Dawson, date of birth, 7-18-2015, height 1.9 meters, weight 95 kilograms, occupation retired. Allergies none, medications, alpr alprazolam, rebexanine, 
Reasons for stay, PTSD, status deceased. Attached notes, patient had undocumented cyberware in the left arm, as well as multiple pieces of shrapnel in various locations. Complications would likely arise to transplant into another host. The rest of the body is in excellent condition and, has, and can be used to improve other subjects, as well as fulfill some custom requests. Ah, uh, that's fun. String with through some tools, motorized saws, and metal devices. Severed arm. Arm looks human and appears neatly severed at the elbow. It's a large gold ring on the index finger. Take the ring. You sweep the heavy ring off the cold finger and feels its weight in your hand. Inside is an engraving. It reads Screamers 2048. Okay. Unlabeled trivid tri disc. You have no way of playing back the disc at this time. Oh, I'm not going to like hearing this. Lorraine, uh, got some bad news. Yeah, Josie's not looking too good. Maybe you should have this. You mean he? Oh, God. Well, thanks for your help. Attention, Grendel, please report to the North Hall to meet with the administrator. Hmm. That's that son of a bitch. The elf standing before you may quite possibly be the ugliest elf you've ever seen. Blah 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 blah. Good day to you. How can I help you? Dr. Holmes, I presume. You're a hard man to reach. Especially considering you're dead. Uh, I'm sorry, who's dead? Alright, those are going to play. Dr. Holmes. <laughs> la la la. Ooh. Alright, those are going to play it. Dr. Holmes, I have reason to believe you're involved in the Emerald City Ripper killings. We see so many delusions in this place, and, I, and still I can be surprised. I suppose I shouldn't be. After all, this is a place for broken things. It's only fitting that a broken mind should seek us out. Guards! Nah. On the ground. Why the fuck did you? Missed. You missed. How could you miss? He was three feet in front of you. Alright, I had it picked up. This is not going to do much. This is going to do even less. Motherfucker. Motherfucker's dead. Attention all personnel, we have a dangerous patient loose inside the facility. Subject is a male troll but may be coordinating with other violent offenders. Use all necessary force. Fucking prick. Moving him here and 
one turn. Grendel, open the door. Yes. No, oh, whatever. <sighs> I figured this was going to end this well. Halls of Disrepair. As you venture deeper into the asylum, you see that the inside is every bit as bad as the outside. Gone is any attempt to uphold sanitary hospital aesthetics. With peeling paint, cracked floors, and exposed conduit, the pretense of mental care is shattered. In this modern era, Mercy, Hosp Mercy Hospital is a throwback to the barbaric asylums of old, prisons and torture chambers rather than places of healing. It's clear that Dr. Holmes is spending his money on something other than this facility. You continue on. Holmes can only run so far. You gonna... You know anything? Who opened the cells? They'll kill us all. Violent patient. Hospital security. Hmm. All right. You missed. How could you miss? He was literally three feet in front of you. Motherfucker. No. You don't understand, do you? This place is for broken things. But only by further breaking them can they be remade, and so we must break you. Fucking assholes, where you are. Five damage. You missed. How did you miss? Let me turn. You. Why? Violent patient. Right. Fourteen damage, fourteen damage.
Alright, so we just have some patience in there. Alright. You... You fucker. You little fucker. You little shit snipe. No. Might as well. Missed. Missed. Crit. Just fucking die already. Fucker. Ah, shit. And okay, that's a thing. That is a thing that just happened. Oh, you motherfucker.
just what I fucking needed. God damn it. Were you the- yeah, you were the motherfucker. Okay. Fine, you're- you will be dealing with the fucking spirit. Surgical cart contains a great key. Or a gate key. Like, great key? What the fuck? Alright. Buying flesh is immense. Their remains appear to be from multiple metahumans. Great. That's what I needed to hear. Wonderful. Just fucking wonderful. No, it's not worth it. Wouldn't even be able to really hit him anyways. Fuck, 12 damage. Straight out. Fucking love dealing with these sons of bitches. Hit him once. Fuck. Missed. 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 God damn it. And he's dead, finally. Uh, not enough AP, fuck. <sighs> Someone once told me that I was a broken thing, but he also said I could remake myself. He wanted to break me down so I could put myself back together again. And I did. But only after I broke him. I could remake you as well. What wonderfully twisted thoughts must turn into minds such as yours. But I'm more inclined to use you for parts. Oh yay. So we gotta deal with the f Okay. Weak. Weak. Missed. Ten. And finish him off. Oh! Seriously? Wow. <laughs> Fucking nice. <sighs> this is going to end well. And 
and I mean that in the most sarcastic fucking way possible. Crit chance 13. Missed. What did you say? By all means, come. You have proven yourself a truly fine specimen. I can think of a hundred uses for once. Just, you fucking asshole. Ten damage. Twelve missed. Crit. All right. What's this? This is Trivid player collects your personal diaries. Some of the video files are missing. Number one, got some cutout chips in last in last week. Tried them out on the patients with violent flashbacks, hoping you would at least smell them out some. It was like night and day. Once the chip was installed, all of their psychotic break triggers were blocked. Miss Yuskin has gone four days without attacking the staff or herself. Six. I was walking to the organ grinders downtown, and there was some kind of event happening at Mega Media. They had a puppet there from Maria Mercurio's label with a persona fixed chip installed, making her an exact doppelganger. They were just using her to hawk some Simpsons re release of a Mercurial live show, but it gave me an idea. The cutouts, the body mod modifications, and my healthy supply of patience, I'm perfectly set up to be a Bunraku fixer. If I can find a supplier for persona fixed chips, I can sell full service Bunraku, even program the behavior trees. Found a buyer for the first Bunraku. A man in the Barrens offered me 20,000 yen for a female for the female troll I've been modifying. He likes them big, he says. All that's left is to arrange delivery. He says if he can put me in touch with some more buyers, if I'll accommodate special orders. These morons' lives are already over anyways. The least they can do is line my pockets. So that's what the fuck he was doing. Alright. Good to know. lines. Fun. The Emerald City Ripper, before you is a medical lab turned torture chamber. The smell of old blood and decayed flesh permeates the room. Gory stains speak of the body's fluids, spill without regard for well-being or hygiene. There are bodies, probably foreign patients, trapped in hideous machines, enduring horrific experiments. The subjects you can see all appear dead, and any that, that aren't must wish they were. You've chased Holmes to his lair, just as his face reveals an ugly soul, so does the safe haven, it would seem. Holmes. Silas, the Emerald City Ripper, the elf is a monster beyond compare. It's time to end this. All right. You are a persistent one, a fine specimen indeed. How much longer are you going to hide, Doc? Hide? <laughs> Nothing of the sort. I'm simply an observation. What I have next in store should prove most illuminating. Pizza, subdue them. Fucking con.
Pike. God fucking shit. Always geek the mage. Pitesaw. No, I'm not wasting it. Fucker. Son of a bitch. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. Son of a bitch. There he is. You're up. What the fuck is wrong with me? Some bitch is gonna die. <sighs> I mean, it's not like there's anything I can do.
Motherfucker. Damage. Damn it. And motherfucker. Yeah, I see that. All right. I'm gonna end this episode here. And yeah, <laughs> this episode here, I'm going to finish, I'm going to redo this in the next episode. All right. See ya.